certainly appreciate all their uh, years of service and sorry that they uh, uh, chose to uh, resign uh, and uh, just feel badly that it isn't an opportunity for new people to come aboard and, and uh, mesh with uh, those who have long-standing service. Since there's no set number of people that can serve on that committee, wouldn't it have been a good compromise to just say, um, let's leave her on? Which committee is this? The Beautification Committee. I think the Beautification Committee is the largest committee that there is. Uh, eight members. Uh, last year they met two times. Uh, I think they attempted to meet a third time and couldn't get a quorum. We have other committees that have even fewer numbers that have a challenge with uh, meeting a quorum. So by expanding a committee to unlimited numbers would just become making it even more unwieldy, more difficult to uh, uh, meet quorums. And uh, again, all of the committee meetings are open to the public and all of the committee activities welcome non-committee participants. Obviously, we greatly appreciate um, all of the work um, that the Beautification Committee has done over the years. Um, unfortunately, with the, they've, they've chosen to resign, um, and that is um, sad. Uh, unfortunately, um, what we're now going to have to do is look at the Beautification Committee, and we do have some other options. We have the Beautification Committee did meet two times last year. Um, they wanted to meet three times, but they didn't have a quorum. And we have another committee that actually didn't meet at all in 2015 because they didn't have a quorum. Uh, there's a lot of uh, similarities to some of those groups, so perhaps maybe what we'll look at uh, maybe one of the options we can look at is uh, maybe merging those two groups and maybe, you know, expanding um, maybe what the definition of beautification committee is and maybe just put them all together. So. I, I guess to play devil's advocate, <coughs> um, just attending meetings wouldn't nearly reflect the amount of work this committee did. Absolutely not. They did a tremendous amount of work and um, they have not only in addition to their members, um, they had many, many volunteers and that was uh, kind of the, um, the, the as, as most people know, committees have certain rules. Um, when you have committees and the beautification committee was the largest committee, they had more members than any other committee. And because it is a committee, uh, there are quorum rules, uh, obviously they have to keep minutes, and all of the records are public records. And, uh, but anybody can volunteer. Uh, so one of the options that maybe we even have is obviously have people who, are, who want to volunteer for beautification, and we just don't call it a committee, it's just a volunteer group. Now, obviously we would have to look into certain things because the beautification committee did have money uh, that was budgeted to them. So we would have to find out from the city manager whether or not some of that money that's budgeted uh, can actually be given to a volunteer group and not just a committee. So, Of course, with the loss of those several people, you've lost perhaps hundreds of volunteers. They brought, they brought the volunteers. Yeah, we, we hope not. Um, I mean, this is a wonderful community, and we do hope that... Um, you know, that other volunteers step up and, you know, maybe as time goes by and maybe uh, they say that sometimes, you know, time heals all wounds, maybe um, we, can, um, we can get our volunteers back.